What's up, Strong Girls Nation? I'm Lonnie. Hi, I'm Emma. And today's Chalk Talk is going to be a little bit more goal setting. We are going to reflect on Keegan Randall's presentation she gave us last week. We are going to learn a little bit about the Olympics, and then we're going to do an Olympic ring craft. Are you ready? Please join us. Let's do this. I'm going to teach you a little history about the Olympic rings. After this, we have a clip to show you from Olympic from an Olympic gold medalist, Keegan Randall, as well as a craft activity. These are the Olympic rings. Here are some facts on the Olympic rings. The Olympic rings are the official symbol of the Olympic Games. The rings represent the union of the five continents and the meaning of athletes from around the world at the Olympic Games. The rings were first used at the Olympic Games in Belgium in 1920. The five colors of the rings are blue, black, red, yellow, and green. The five Olympic rings represent the five continents. Africa, America, Asia, Australia, and Europe. You must be wondering why not Antarctica? This is because there are hardly any people living on Antarctica due to its extreme weather conditions. Even if Olympics were held there, only penguins would attend it. Each and every country participating in the Olympics has at least one of these colors in their flag. Isn't that amazing? Currently, the International Olympic Committee states that the rings represent the five continents merging both North and South America into one America. There are Summer Olympics and Winter Olympics, and each happen every four years. This coming summer, the 2020 Olympics were set to be held in Tokyo, and they will now happen in 2021. The next Winter Olympics are set to be in Beijing in 2022. Look at all the sports options in the Olympics. These are the sports for the Summer Olympics. And these are the sports that happen during the Winter Olympics. Even though there aren't as many as the Summer Olympics, it's still really amazing to watch athletes compete in these. Let's hear what cross-country skier Olympic gold medalist Keegan Randall had to share with us last week. Years later, um, I'm five years old and I'm sitting on the floor of my parents' grandparents' living room watching my first Winter Olympics on television. And as I watched the athletes march into the opening ceremonies and watch them compete, I decided right then and there that I wanted to go to the Olympics. Now, you know, at five years old, that's, that seems a bit ambitious, but I saw something that I wanted to go after. And so it was just a matter of what sport I was gonna choose. So I, try, I decided to try lots of different activities. So for you guys, where you are, I hope that you have a dream or something kind of exciting that you think about often in the future. Maybe it makes you, it puts those butterflies in your stomach when you, when you think about it, because you're not sure if it's actually possible, but start writing it down. Put it, put it uh, somewhere in your room, put it on the mirror that you see in the bathroom every day. When I was a, a student in elementary school, Every art project I did was about the Olympics because I was constantly thinking about my goal. So just make that goal, that dream, part of your everyday life, and you will be amazed at how those little steps add up and you can be the champion that you want to be. So that's your plan. And then I really encourage you to tell people about your goal, tell people about your dream, and encourage other people to work on it with you because there's no doubt in my mind without an amazing team. I wouldn't have made it to that goal. And then know that along the path to reaching your goal, there's gonna be some challenges. And that's where you have to believe in yourself and believe in your ability to overcome obstacles, to think about the positive and make it through. And then if we do that, I know you can win your gold medal. Did you hear how Olympic gold medalist Keegan Randall said all her art projects had to do with the Olympics because that was her dream. We are going to make rings to hang up in our rooms. Here are the materials you will need for this fun craft. A piece of paper. It can be colored or white. It doesn't matter. Markers, crayons, or pencil crayons. Really anything you can draw with. 
a circular object which is optional but highly recommended, and a positive and creative mindset. Make sure you share with us what you have made. We would love to see it. And there are also two worksheets on goal setting that are going to be posted on our website for you to download. They come from the book, A Strong Girl's Guide to Being. So if you're interested in more, please check that out as well. Let's get started. First thing, you need to find a circular object. Next, a piece of paper. And if you'd like to match the Olympic ring colors, you can use blue, yellow, black, green, and red. Now let's get started. There's three rings across the top and two on the bottom. The first one is blue. I'm using crayons, but you can use colored pencils or really any drawing material. The second one is black. The next one is red. And then for the two on the bottom, the first one is yellow. And then the next one is green. I had different sized um, crayons, so my yellow circle was a little bit bigger, but here's a rough, a rough idea of what it would look like. Now we're gonna add our dream to it and hang it up in our room so that we see it every day. If I were to go to the Olympics, I'd want to go and play basketball. If I went to the Olympics, I wanted to do gymnastics or soccer. You can have your dream, and you can try and draw that on your piece of paper, too. Don't forget to sign your autograph and write the date. Hope you enjoyed. Bye. Okay.